Hi friends. Now recently a student came to me and he asked a question, sir. I have been doing very well in my college days or my school days. I have been one of the better performers in the descriptive exams, in the prof exams, and now when I am facing the multiple choice questions, I am not doing that well. And my last NEET rank or my NEET UG rank, I had to struggle in both of them. So uh, I thought I should be able to, you know, articulate and give you an answer to this question. And we see this happening all around. We see this happening all around that there are some students who are doing well in a theoretical paper where you have to describe a problem, and there are some students who are not doing so well when they are, you know, they face a pattern change where an exam is asking you to do a multiple choice question. So why? Why is that happening? And can we explain it scientifically? We can ex explain it scientifically if we understand the two basic skills required for two different kind of exams. The first skill is description. Which kind of exams do you think need a description? The exams where you have to write a short note, long question. For example, I am giving you write a short note on head injury, or write a short note on radiological features of extradural hematoma. What will you do? You will write that okay. If there is an extradural hematoma, you will talk about why it happens, the etiology, epidemiology, these clinical features, the and you will make a description. But there will be some gaps in your understanding. But do you need to mention them? There is no need because the question is a open-ended question. Write a short note on extradural hematoma. You are writing whatever you know, and you are not writing whatever you don't know. And you know there is no question of your knowing what you don't know because it is not asked in the question. The question is more broad. Now imagine an image given to you in a question with choices. Now there are choices. Is it extradural hematoma? Is it subdural hematoma? Now I need to clearly know what EDH is and what HDH is so that I can differentiate between the two. That means the key skill for MCQ is no longer description. It is comparison. My ability to compare two different entities and to make sure that I am able to compare them, differentiate them with salient features. Now I don't need to know it all, and you will see and you will hear every topper in a UG entrance exam or a PG entrance exam talk about the same skill. They will all say there is no need to know everything about everything, but at least when you know the salient features, you are able to differentiate. Now, so that makes me believe that if someone could tell a potential aspirant these two things, be it you know you are trying to get into PMT or PG entrance or any MCQ based exam, I believe the two things that you need to know and you start doing it is that whenever you are reading, you are reading things in continuity as if you are reading a novel, and your goal is to describe things when you are asked in a question. It doesn't really matter if you miss out on one or two points here and there. However, when you are preparing for competitive exam, I want you to be able to draw out a table. At the end of the page, you are able to draw out a table comparing the two things for me. For example, you are reading about brain hemorrhages, but then I am happy if you, in the end of the day, you are able to tell me extradural hematoma, which artery, subdural hematoma, what is the source of bleeding, which one is more likely to be arterial, which one is more likely to be venous, which one is likely to be limited by the skull sutures and why which one of them is not limited by sutures which one ha will have a biconvex shape which one will have a concave or convex shape so if i if you are able to put in a table formulate now the idea will be instead of one page you have a table in front of you where you have salient features why this why this now when you come to give the exam now you have to do why this is the answer and even more important is you have to do why this is not the answer, why this is not the answer, why this is not the answer. What do you call it? You call it exclusion. And you will hear every ranker in any competitive exam, they will all give value to exclusion. Exclusion is a skill. That means even more important than why this is the answer, the idea is why this is not the answer. And why will you know this? Because you have been comparing in your mind all the time. So if I put it in a nutshell, Description is the key to scoring well in descriptive exams. Okay, 
but when we come to competitive exams multiple choice based exams you have choices in front of you you need to rule out so the comparison is the soul the ability to compare two diseases which are nearby each other in their you know pathogenesis if i'm able to compare between the two i start winning the game make sure every now and then stop pause look back try to compare then go forward try to compare you will end up thinking in the same manner in the way the next stopper is thinking I wish you all the best and I'm sure you know once you start comparing you will start changing a uh, you know a paradigm shift in the way you are uh, performing today and where you are performing in future in the exams I wish you all the best